Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a problem uh, that is asking us to graph, given a couple of equations, to graph those uh, equations, the solutions to those equations, which are lines, right? Graph those lines on the same set of axes and then find their intersection point. So uh, let's let's. This is a problem I'm taking from CPM, and this is course three. Uh, this is section five point one point one. Uh, specifically number 5-8. So it says here, graph the lines y equals negative 4x plus 3 and y equals x minus 7 on the same set of axes, then find their point of intersection. So I've got here already my axes set up, right? My x-axis is the horizontal axis. My vertical axis is the y. So I'm going to graph each of these lines. So keep in mind, these lines are already in the form y equals mx plus b. Right, that's a good form for us to be able to graph those lines to show all the solutions. Because what does it tell me? M, remember, is the growth rate. It's the growth rate, or also known as the slope of the line. Okay, and B is the y-intercept. Okay, that tells me where the y crosses the y-axis, or where the the point where the line crosses the y-axis. That's the y-intercept. Okay, or my initial value, sometimes known as. So let's let's start with the first one. Y is equal to negative 4x plus 3. So that, what does that tell me? First of all, I start with the, the y-intercept. So that 3 right there tells me it, it crosses at 0, 3. So I'm going to find 0, 3, right? So 0, 3 would be right here on my graph. So that's 0, 3. So that's my initial point. And now I use the slope or my growth to find my next point, negative 4. That means every time I go over one, I go down four, right? If I have a negative four is my slope. Every time I go over one, I go down four. So over one, down four. Over one, down, let's see, four, okay? And then if I want to add some points this direction, it's the same, but in this case, I'm gonna go backwards. So I'm gonna go up four over one, right? Because if I were going backwards, it'd be up four over one. Uh, the other direction. So let's go ahead and, and draw my line. Rem remember, we draw the line because we're showing all the possible solutions to this equation. So this solid line, connect those dots, throw some arrows because it says the solutions continue, and then and then I'll label it. Y is equal to negative 4x plus 3. So this line, keep in mind, represents all the possible solutions that make this equation true, right? Each of those points so if I, if I call this point out here, 1, negative 1, that means when x is 1, if I put a 1 in here, I'll get negative 1 for the y, right? Negative, one, negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So that, that's one of the solutions to this equation. So all of these, that entire line shows all the solutions to that equation. So that's that line. So let's graph the other one, and I'll graph the other one in another color so we can see the two lines. So this equation, right, once again, I'm going to start with the y-intercept, and that we got to pay attention. Oops. we got to pay attention to this equation because that's minus 7. That means the y-intercept is at 0, negative 7. So the y-intercept, the initial point, because the minus in front means it's at negative 7. So I'll go down to negative 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's right there. So that's the negative 7 is the y-intercept. 0, negative 7. Okay. The y-intercept for this one was at 3. I should have marked it. So... Here we have now my, my growth. Well, remember that if there's no number in front of the X, there's always a coefficient of one. So my growth is one. Every time I go up one, I go over one. Every time I, I should say, every time I go over one, I go up one. Every time I go over one, I go up one. Over one, up one, over one, or up one, right? This is the growth rate or the slope of the line. So I can see that enough points there. So I'm, I'm gonna connect my dots to once again to show when you connect the dots, why are we doing that? Because it's showing all the possible solutions to the equation y is equal to x minus 7. So I've got my two lines on the same set of axes, and then it says it wants us to find their point of intersection, right? That means where do they cross? Well, it looks like right here is their point of inter intersection. And what is that point? So let's label that point. So I'm going to label that. So the point of intersection is let's see so it looks like it's two on the x 
two, and then one, two, three, four, five, negative five on the y. So that point of intersection is at two, and then this would be negative five here. So a two negative five is the point of intersection. So there's that answer to that part of the question. All right, there you go.